Hi, I'm Craig Phillips. Welcome to the top 10 questions that are frequently asked about Sure-Set's pour-on resin. First one, is pour-on gravel binder safe for me to use? Well, yes. We recommend wearing eye protection when applying it. Full health and safety information is available on the packaging. And if you're going to be doing a large area or an enclosed space, then you may want to wear a suitable fitted face mask. How does pour-on gravel binder cure? Pour-on is an aliphatic resin system, which is cured by the moisture in the atmosphere. The moisture causes different components of the resin to react, which cures it. The warmer the weather, the quicker it'll cure. Can I use pour-on gravel binder in the rain? No, we do not advise using it in the rain. There'll be too much moist, which will cause the resin to react differently, and it may even go white or foam. Also, the resin will not stick to the gravel very well, and you will have a weakened product. We strongly advise that the gravel is completely dry, and there is no rain forecasted for at least six hours after completion. This is based on a warm time of the year, when the temperatures are around 20 degrees Celsius or even allow 12 hours after completion if the weather is cooler and the temperatures are between around five to 19 Celsius. What is the coolest temperature that pour on gravel binder can be applied in? We advise not applying the product when the weather is under five Celsius, mainly due to it taking longer to cure. Plus it's being open to potential differing weather elements which may affect it. The cooler the weather, can also influence the viscosity, which makes it difficult to get a good area and a full depth coverage. What size gravel or stone should I use with pour-on gravel binder? It can be used on stones ranging from 6mm up to 20mm. However, it can be used on larger stones, but more time and care will need to be taken when applying the product. With large stones, we recommend that it is only used for decorative or low use areas. Optimum size will be around 10 millimeters for a footpath. It's worth heading over to Shoreset to see the vast range and size stones that they have to offer. What depth do the stones need to be when using pour on gravel binder? It'll vary depending on the size of the gravel. However, a rough guide is between 25 and 50 millimeters deep. Full instructions are on the packaging or on the Shoreset website. But a good rule of thumb is a minimum of 25 millimeters or 2.5 times greater than the size of the gravel. Is poured on gravel binder safe for my pets and plants? Well, once it's cured, the product is inert and fine for pets and plants. But you need to keep the pets off and away from the product when it's being applied until the product is fully cured. Do I need to protect the surrounding areas when applying pour on gravel binder? Yes, we advise putting protection down on any surface or area adjacent to nearby where you could accidentally spill pour on onto, as it will mark. It is a very strong resin, so it will be very hard to get off. And also, watch out for getting it on your shoes and walking it into your house. How do I know how much pour on gravel binder I will need? And what is the spread rate? Well, it depends on the use. One kilogram of pour on gravel binder would approximately cover one square meters of gravel. As a guide, pour on should be applied as one kilogram per square meter per coat. Now for decorative areas, apply one coat. For residential pathways, apply two coats. Now for more heavy commercial public pedestrian areas, you'll need to apply three coats. Where can I buy pour on gravel binder? You can get it from Shoreset Resin. Visit their website at www.shoreset.co.uk forward slash pour on. Now, I hope that these questions and answers have been helpful. But if there's a question that I haven't answered, don't forget to check out part two, where I've answered a further 10 more questions.